Okay, in this video we're going to be talking about classifying systems of linear equations from graphs. So there are two types of labels for systems of equations and that is independent and dependent. This is one type of label, okay? Independent is when it's two different lines. Dependent is when it's the same line for both equations, okay? So right away I can notice that these are two different lines, okay? So this would be labeled independent. And these are obviously two different lines, so this can be labeled independent. But here you have one line right on top of the other. It looks like the exact same line. So this is considered dependent. The other classification that we have is consistent and inconsistent. I think I spelled that wrong, but you get the idea. Okay, consistent means it has a solution or solutions, plural. Inconsistent and it was when there's no solution. And remember, when you're solving a system of equations, you're looking for where the two graphs um, intersect, okay, where they touch. So here, you have one solution. These two lines only touch once and it's there. So there is a solution, so this is called consistent. But it's just one solution and that one solution happens to be the coordinates 2 for x and 3 for y. This is the one and only solution. Okay. Whereas here, you notice they never cross. They never touch. They're just running parallel to, to each other. So this one is called inconsistent. And there is no solution here whatsoever. That's what inconsistent means. The last case, they do touch. There's one right on top of the other. So it is consistent. However, every single spot on these line is a solution. So I wouldn't even try to list all of those coordinates because there's an infinite number of them. This is going this way forever and this is going in this direction forever. So instead of trying to list all of those x and y coordinates, what we do is we write the equation of this line. Since both graphs are represented by the same image, we can write the equation of that one particular image. And so y equals the y-intercept is 1, positive 1, and the slope is up 1, 2, over 1. So the slope is a positive 2. And this equation describes all the points that are on that particular image. 